Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'd like to share with you a really quick project that I made for polka doodles and I used this release called Winnie Mermaisings and they are just adorable you guys and I will have a direct link to this collection. It comes with about four or five different sheets of pattern paper. It comes with six Winnie images and then it comes with some sentiments. So I did use three of these images but of course I used them in a smaller scale and I used some of their papers which I think is adorable you guys and it is really bright colors but I did try to make it work because you know I usually like to work with pastel colors you will see what I did if you haven't seen the thumbnail yet also here are some of the dice that I used in this video and I will try and link everything as much as possible but if you don't see it in the description box, it's because I wasn't able to find it because I know this particular die is retired. All right, so now let me show you what I made. Okay, so I do have a process video and in the process video, this is the one that I make. And you can see the layers right there and I think it's just so pretty. I love the way it looks. You know adding all of the ribbons and beads and this is a really great way for me to use my ribbons because I have so many of them and I just don't know what else to do with them and of course I finished the back and here is one of the papers you guys look how adorable that is this is how it comes and of course you can size it up to whatever size you like and there's this one that has like octopuses in the background then there's this one that has it is kind of like an ombre color with like a light blue and a light and it transitions into like a light pink and it has flowers in the background. Here is the first one. So the, like I said, that process video shows you how to make this one. And then here is another one. And look how cute she is. Now this one on this die cut, I added this pearl trim and then on each of the of the corners of this star I added a bling piece and then there is all that dimension I just love it and on this the, this was the only one that I actually actually added this um, spellbinders die and I really like the look of it and look at these again there's the back all the backs are the same same pattern paper because I really really like that pattern paper but if I would have used it in one of the rosettes, you would have not been able to tell what that looks like. But I really love all of this dangling pieces, you guys. I love the way this looks. And this is what I'm talking about where I try to use, you know, the pastel colors that I love to use. Now, this is the one that I, this is the very first one I made. And this is the one that I probably embellished the most. And here it is. I really love the way that looks, a combination of flowers, pearls, and seashells. Now these seashells I got from Dollar Tree. And here are four that I have, but they have a lot more than these. And I like them because I think the sizes were perfect for this project. And especially because, you know, it's under the sea. And then to each one I added a bow. And like I said, this is a great way for me to use my ribbon because I don't know what else to do with so much ribbon that I have. So that is it for today, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you continue watching to see how I was able to put this together. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite one. Thank you, everyone. Bye. All right, so I'm just showing you some of the pieces that I've already die cut. I'm going to use this rosette die by Tim Holtz. And I can decide whether to use that lavender or turquoise paper straw. And from this Sizzix die, I used that smaller one. Now I'm going to get this die cut piece, the one with the Winnie image, and I'm going to add 3D foam dots to the, to the back of it. And I will adhere that with hot glue because I don't really trust the adhesive that it already comes with it. 
I don't know if you can tell, but that lavender paper is pearl and it is just gorgeous. Now these four pieces, I'm going to accordion fold. You're, so I'm going to do that with all of those four pieces and then I will adhere the ends using hot glue because I like using hot glue because it's so much faster, but you can use liquid glue if you like or some really good double-sided tape. And then after I'm done with that, I will adhere the two ends together, again, using hot glue. Now I'm getting a scratch piece of paper. Um, I didn't really have to do this part if you don't want to, but I just, I just did it anyways. Now this is a four inch embroidery hoop and this is what I'm going to use kind of like to guide me on getting a perfect circle because I didn't want my circle to be kind of wonky. So that's what I use it for and you will see that I will use it again. So it is a perfect circle, I think. And then I'm going to do the same thing with these two pieces. I'm going to accordion fold them adhere them together using hot glue. This die is from Tim Holtz. And I think it's just called Rosette. And then adhere the two ends together. And now this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that embroidery hoop, I'm going to take the center of it off, you will see, and I will also take off that screw on the top. So it'll make it a little bit wider and you will see that it the two rosettes layer perfectly on top of each other and you can see that you can just see a little bit of it. The one from the bottom you can see a little bit peeking through and that is exactly what I was trying to do. I didn't want it to be too big. So I got another scratch piece of paper, added a lot of hot glue and there you go oh my gosh I think it looks so perfect now I'm going to adhere this on top of that bigger one try to center it as best as I can and that is it with that part now I'm going to grab this image the image that I chose and I decided to go with the lavender paper straw so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this skewer inside of the paper straw using this liquid glue, but I will have that pointy tip of the skewer sticking out from the top of the straw and that, what, and that part is what's going to be glued in the inside of, in between the two rosettes. That's what I'm trying to say. So you won't see that part because you know it's it's just bare wood you won't be able to see it because it's going to be in the inside and of course I'm going to use my hot glue you can see that I use this hot glue quite a bit in this project and that should hold it in place and it's going to make it pretty sturdy and to me I thought it was pretty darn sturdy and I was happy with it now I'm going to add the image and I think this Winnie is just adorable. I really like her. So I'm trying to center it and I do try to position it just a little bit higher than what she's supposed to so that I can leave space in the bottom for the paper bow that I'm going to add. Now these pearls are from, some are from stash, and these pink ones happen to be from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to put some on the right side and then some on the left side and of course more hot glue you guys and I will repeat this process with pretty much all of the other laces I'm not laces ribbons and trims that I plan on using now I'm going to add this turquoise one and this ribbon I got from Michaels and it is Oh my gosh, I think this is perfect for mermaids or for beach themed, summer themed. The color is just perfect and it has like this iridescent shine to it. So I add a little bit of hot glue right in the center just so it can be, I don't know if you noticed, but I, when I folded it over, it's a little bit slanted. Um, so that's what I did. And I'm going to continue repeating the same process with the next beads. This is also another one from Hobby Lobby, the white, this white bead. And I'm going to adhere it just on top of that ribbon. 
in between that little opening right there and then I will again repeat this process with the next ribbon I use and I think I ended up using the oh the lavender one this is from Dollar Tree and you should definitely get these when you see them during spring and they come in lavender pink white and a baby blue and they are perfect for projects like this and oh my gosh I just love the way they came out now these paper bows are from Michaels I got them years ago and I finally get the chance to use them I haven't used them at all so this is my first time using them look how beautiful that looks I just had to add more pink to my project and to finish the back again you know that all my backs are the same and I chose that pretty paper background I just love it it's like a scene with all of the mermaids. Look how beautiful that looks. And that is it, you guys. That is my whole process video. Now that I've shared with you how to make these beautiful wands, please tag me either on Instagram, Facebook, or here on YouTube. I would love to see what you come up with. Don't forget to open the description box for a direct link to this amazing digital collection and for other links that are useful. I will also have a supply list in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and hope you've enjoyed this video. Bye everyone.